G'day team, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to go through how to mirror a project. So there's gonna be a situation where you will have done a full set of work and drawings on a job. And uh, first thing the client says is uh, they'll say, great job, thanks, you know, plans look amazing. Um, just forgot to mention that the uh, the crossover is on the uh, on the other side of the uh, the property or, you know, the other the other boundaries, the build to boundary wall. But regardless of the like the details you you're probably going to have to flip a job at some point or flip a uh, flip a house so luckily it's not too big of a deal revit does have a uh, a mirror project tool and i'm just going to really quickly walk you through uh how to how to mirror a project and what to look out for after you have mirrored said project all right so let's get stuck in so as you can see here, the um, you know the, the garage is on this side of the property, and um, you know say they're going to come back and they say, oh, the uh, crossover needs to be like you know over over here. So we just need to you know keep the floor plan as it is, but just mirror it on uh, uh, on that axis. So what you want to go is up to the manage ribbon, and we want to go to position, and then under position there's a mirror project button. And you click that and it does all the work for you if only it was that easy so what this does is it mirrors everything in the entire job and um you know that makes sense but if you're having to mirror a house on a site or you know on a, a, a property the property is then going to have to flip back because all you're doing is if the house is house is here and you you know you're just going to flip it like that so the site is going to stay the same. The house is going to be doing the flipping. So that will make sense in a minute. So the thing you need to look out for here is the mirror line is the east west axis or the north south axis. So the easy way to look at it is if you're flipping up and down or left and right. So when it says north to south, that's flipping up and down. East to west is flipping left to right, essentially. So in this case, if we want the garage to be on the uh, on the other side, that means that the axis is going to be east-west, so it's going to be a north to south flip. So we'll click that button and then go make a cup of tea because this generally takes yeah, it's it's not a it's not a quick process. Okay. So this is where the problems begin, believe it or not. Uh, a group has been changed outside of group edit mode. The change is being allowed because there is only one instance of this type. So go OK. Now then, first thing that you will notice is that this used to fit in this shape. So with a, if you're heavily reliant on detail groups, it's probably going to be a good idea to go around and ungroup everything before you flip the job. So one, ungroup everything. It's easy enough to fix though. You would just go into edit group, mirror it, and then move it back into place. Okay, next up, we'll have to mirror the actual property back because that was correct. So mirror, no copy. And I'm not gonna, you know, obviously you should, you should be doing this with a lot more care um because you know you can establish that what the setback was to the garage and, and and all of that kind of thing but yeah so the property is now as it was like as it's actually meant to be um you know this will need to be flipped so don't worry about all that kind of superfluous detail that's something that you'll just you'll know is wrong and you'll you'll know to kind of fix um as you're doing the job so you'll notice that all of the text now used to be justified to the left and the uh, the leaders you know all were not doing this madness so if you select a text box go sa for select all you can change all of the horizontal alignments over in the uh, the properties here so we'll go horizontal align left because uh, we like to do things neat and sometimes there'll be different text styles. So this one is, you know, 1.82. because I'm guessing that there was something different about it. So we can just change that back at whatever. Um, 
whatever is needed. And then you can just go through and just adjust all the leaders as needed. You'll need to go through every single sheet and view in the job and bring all of the text back into line. So we're looking at our floor plan now. So we'll have to, you know, select this, change the horizontal align back to left. And you just have to go through and do this with pretty much all of your, all of the detail items, all of, um, I guess the detail items pretty much sums it up. So text and tags and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, it, the tags are still all good there, but some of them get a bit funny. Some things will just totally move into a different part of the house, but this is what, uh, this is what you need to be careful of. If, uh, if you had a choice between having to redo like all of the dimensions and everything else, or just having to tidy up some text, I think this is a, uh, it's a pretty, pretty good compromise to make when, um, when having to, you know, flip a full, full set of working drawings. If you were using AutoCAD, this would take a, uh, a huge amount of time, but you should be able to flip a completed set of working drawings in under an hour on Revit. That's, that should be very, very doable, very doable. So just looking closer here, you can see the, um, the room tag with, uh, with text they've all uh, they've all moved around so if you select them and just press space a couple of times it'll uh, it'll rotate them back around um you know we can have a look at elevations elevations is going to be the same deal you can see all of the text has pretty much just flipped it's you flip the job and then Revit just thinks that the whole world is, has turned on its head and this is the right thing to do so as far as i'm aware there's no way to stop the text from um from turning about face like this but you know, it's, it doesn't take too long to tidy up and it's, uh, it's a pretty small price to, price to pay as I keep saying. So look, that's under 10 minutes for me is a, is a pretty, pretty quick video. So um, we'll just summarize by, if you have to mirror the job, first thing you wanna do is go up to manage, position, mirror project. Pay attention to what they're talking about the axis line. So that's going to tell you which way the job is actually going to flip because it takes a while to process. You want to try and get it right the first time because if you get it wrong, you'll have to do control Z, try the other one, essentially. Next thing you want to do is go through and fix up all of the text because it's going to turn, it's going to flip its justification. So as you can see, the text is justified to the left. After the flip, all of it was going to the right like this. So that's gross and this is nice. So you'll have to fix up all of your text just generally go through the whole job, fixing up all of the detail items as needed. Uh, like I said, it should only take an hour unless you're drawing mansions, in which case I'll give you an hour and a half. Finally, you wanna fix up the site itself. So just because you've got the site and then the house, um, the house is gonna flip, but the site needs to stay the same. So when you actually do the job, it's gonna both flip and then you need to flip the house back. So, or the site back, should I say, because uh, yeah, it's it's going to flip it with the house, and um, unless you're actually inverting north and south and going out there and, and repegging the site, um, yeah, you need to you need to tidy up the uh, <laughs> the the boundary lines. But um, yeah, uh, I hope you got something out of that. That's just a pretty basic tutorial. It's something that comes up every now and again, and unless you approach it by using the uh, the actual mirror project tool it would just take you forever it would just be the worst thing in the world to try and do so i hope uh, i hope this saves you some time and um, as always thank you very much for listening and watching and i'll uh, i'll talk to you soon cheers <laughs>